Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk. Image Plus with The Walking Dead, Here's Negan, Part 3. Now, first off, <laughs> this review is a little late, and the reason is I've been relying on social media lately to let me know that they have released this. Uh, especially with the move and all, lately I've been every what, Wednesday, usually every, if it's coming close to a Wednesday, and I know it's the end of the month, I'll look online and I'll look for Image Comics or The Walking Dead or Skybound, somebody to like advertise this on a Monday or Tuesday, you know, for that following Wednesday. Well, I didn't see anything and I was even searching, so I just, you know, assumed it was next week. Well, that was wrong because I got a hundred people <laughs> asking me on Thursday, "Where's my Negan Part Three review?" Well, here it is. I would just, I don't know. I just, it, I just, it's kind of odd that they would, uh, you know, squeeze the Negan in twelve of these issues and then not really advertise the hell out of it. Maybe I completely missed it some weird way, but. I just thought that was odd. Anyway, getting to the story, part one, you have Negan find out he's a coach, his wife falls down. Part two, we find out she has cancer, and then Negan has a girlfriend. Uh, and then part three, Negan breaks up with the girlfriend, uh, goes home, tells his wife, so we know it's open, everyone knows about it. And she's like, you're an idiot, why did you pick the sick one, you know? There's a time skip where we see each panel, uh, and she's getting worse, her health is de de degenerate, deteriorating, holy jeez. Her health is deteriorating in between the panels, and uh, Negan's sticking it out with her, he feels guilty, you know, I guess the cheating and the this and the that. Uh, so he really loves his wife. They really showed a lot of love for his wife. What it did lack, though, was giving us any material on his wife to get us kind of connected. Like, we feel for him that a person he loves is dying because of cancer. That is so shitty. But I just felt like it would have been more impactful if we got a little bit, just a look into her character a little, you know? Maybe something nice she did or sweet she did or show that she was a very smart woman or whatever, you know? It's easy to look at this and just assume she's white trash. I get that feeling. And I really wish that they would have shown something of her being smart or career orientated and something and then Negan's like the goof off. They did it a little bit with her scalding him but it just wasn't enough. Another thing and I say this every time about the way they are uh, splitting up this story between 12 parts over the course of a year. Now this issue, I think this issue, it does it for me and I'm gonna say something that uh, I feel bad for saying because I love Skybound and I want to support them. Uh, and it, essentially, I look at, you know, The Walking Dead and Negan, the story, even though it's in Image Plus. I see this as a Skybound thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I would actually honestly recommend, if someone was going to start this now, if this is the first thing you're seeing, I would recommend waiting, uh, buying, I don't know, part one, two, and three, all in one clip. Because this really proves that separating the story hurts the story. It hurts the, the vibe you get because uh, it's this roller coaster of building the momentum and this is I've said this with the cliffhanger on TV and this is a clear example of that momentum being lost because if you would have picked up part one two and three at the same time and not have to deal with this you know four pages a month bullshit if you would have picked up part one two and three this cliffhanger would have been like boom <laughs> you know what I'm saying it, it, but for now because you're rebuilding that momentum it just doesn't hit. It's an awesome cliffhanger. I like where the story's at. I know. I love that Negan is in a hospital with his dying wife. You know, she is on her deathbed right now. She can't be moved. She's sick as hell, uh, hooked up to machines. I mean, this woman is about to die, but she's still alive. She's clinging on to life, and Negan shows that he wants her to fight. He thinks she can still fight and beat this thing. And what happens in the end of this? A doctor bursts in. He says, you got to go. It's not safe. whoop de whoop Negan looks out the window, and there's a car on fire. It looks like there's a walker and a person running or something like that. And I'm like, wow, that cliffhanger is so cool. I love where it leaves Negan in this fucked up position where the love of his life and we saw through the time skip that he picked the sick one that says a lot you know what I mean even she was calling him an idiot for that uh, and 
damn, I loved it so much, but I felt like the impact in reading this, again, because of the start and stop and start and stop, it was stunted in a way, and I feel like that's really shitty. So with this issue, I will yet again, like a broken record, continue to voice my opinion that this is a bad way to, rep to show off this story. Um, it hurts the impact. With that said, I love it. I, I really wish they would just do, what, part one, two, and three. If they would have done that, I truly feel like this cliffhanger would have been more of a punch in the throat. For what it's worth, though, the story, I'm really, really, really digging it. I think we could have got a little bit more, though, of the time skip. It felt a little rushed, absolutely. It felt like we needed more with Negan's wife. Uh, and that is true, and I'm looking at this already and thinking, man, they could have stretched this out and made this cliffhanger at, at this point in the story way more impactful if you put in more bits of time skip, more between Negan and his wife. And I know that some people out there might be like, well, no, let's get right to the, the thing. He loves his wife. We've seen it. Let's get right to the zombie shit. Well, you know, that buildup makes the payoff so much more rewarding. So if you have a small buildup, the payoff will be small. If you have this big buildup, you know, and sometimes people will be like, well, this is milking it, stretching it out, it's filler. Sometimes that's absolutely necessary to get you invested emotionally just enough to where when you get that payoff, you feel it, you know, right in your gut as if this is real life. But it's just a comic book you're reading. You know what I'm saying? It's fake characters and a fake story, but you feel something emotionally. Um, writing, it's a very, uh, I want to say, um, it's a very shaky craft, you know? Being stuck with four pages each month, that restriction uh, affects the writing style. Again, because some things might seem forced, like the time skip, you only have certain panels, and that's absolutely true. Uh, restricting, you know, uh, the creativity in that will force the story in certain directions. And what I mean by that is you know where the story's going to go, but you only have one page to show the time skip, so you got to do like a quick boom, 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 and we're missing some of what we need with the wife. Right now, there's just not enough of the wife, I feel, to get us uh, attached as much as we could be. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't reach its max potential is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, with that said, I really like this, even though I, I disagree with uh, the pros and cons. Really like the story, especially now. I think part three leaves it off at a place where I am now thrilled and excited to see where we go from here. Because again, it leaves Negan off in this really shitty place. Uh, wife, dying of cancer, he still has hope and faith that she can fight this and pull through, but the world has gone to shit. He is fucked. And that hospital looks like they're abandoning, you know, all the patients that are sick or they're tied up and they, the patients, they can't move. Uh, what does Negan do? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I have a feeling if she, I don't know if she was plugged up to too many machines, but she has to be plugged up to a few, giving her fluids, you know what I'm saying? That alone, her dehydrating, what if she can't drink? What if she gets her fluids through an IV or something? That's some serious shit. You would have to, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, you have a hospital, sick people, people probably dying all the time. If they're dying, they're turning. Negan's in a world of hurt, and I love that. I love that so damn much. I uh, love it. Just love it. I love the story where it's headed, you know? Just love it. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. Again, if I could do a really quick mini review on the Image Plus. Uh, they said something in the very beginning that they are no longer selling this with the previews. They're going to sell it on its own, which was kind of confusing to me because uh, they were from the start selling it on its own. So I'm not really sure what that means. So if you're buying the Image Plus, probably just ask your uh, comic retailer, you know, where you're getting it from because they might uh, lead, give you better information. Because like I said, it seemed like they were selling it on its own to begin with. I buy it on its own for two bucks. Anyhow, another thing I feel like they could, they're missing something. In my opinion, it feels like they're missing something. Uh, as far as maybe they need to add maybe every other issue, tips and tricks for creators. They have stuff in here if you're a comic reader and you're interested in what image is bringing out. But I feel like you are missing an opportunity to let fans in on a lot of the behind the scenes. They have a lot of interviews in here and it seems like it's interviews for what's coming, you know? And I feel like they're missing that element of 
uh, the behind the scenes. What was the journey to get here? Where did you come up with these? You know, they touch base a little bit, but again, I feel like there's something's missing between uh, the behind the scenes aspects, maybe some really cool mini, you know, articles that are kind of documentaries on what got started, some neat things within the industry. And then there's also maybe a page or two they can add for creators. I mean, I think it would benefit them greatly by adding just a little bit in this magazine that is geared toward, uh, towards comic creators. And then if this is the one-stop shop for, you know, bits and pieces of really valuable, you know, concentrated information that would help them greatly in the industry, I think they would buy it every month and continue to support it, you know, the, the, on that alone. Anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on the Negan Part 3 and the Image Plus. If you have read this, let me know what you think about the story. Do you love this cliffhanger and where Negan is in his life at this moment? <laughs> Do you like this story-wise and are you excited to see where they go uh, from here on out? I am. Put your thoughts and opinions down in a comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now. I hope I didn't sound like too much of a dick. <laughs>